Hey guys, so in this video I'll show you guys how to do an overhaul of your CVT transmission including a belt change, changing the rollers, the sliders as well as inspecting your clutch. So first thing you have to do, you have to take this cover off, there is 5 bolts um, that you have to take off and then once you take those off, there is 10 bolts on the case cover which you have to take off as well. After we get the cover off, what we'll have to do is take the two nuts holding in the, the two pulleys and then here I'm just going to use an impact wrench but you can also use a 19mm socket with a ratchet but you'll need a tool to keep the two pulleys from uh, moving around. So it's just easier to use an impact wrench and then once we get the uh, nuts off we'll take the entire assembly of the, um, the CBT uh, housing. So now with the front pulley off, what I'm going to be doing, I'll be taking this back part off, taking out the rollers, putting new rollers in, and then also replacing these sliders. The cool thing about the sliders as well as the rollers, if you get the rollers and they're all the same weight, they'll only go in a certain way, so you can't really mess up. And it's the same with the sliders, which I'm taking off now. They go in a certain way, so you can't really mess them up, which is kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna be replacing all of those just because mine, uh, even though they weren't really uh, used up, they're kind of old and whatnot. So I just, you know, bought some new ones I wanted to replace them. So we're doing that now. get the uh, first pulley all, uh, all done now we're gonna take a look at the clutch and the first thing that you want to do is inspect these shoes make sure they're not super shiny because if they are chances are they're not really catching to the outside covering mood actually makes the wheel move so I'm just gonna kind of scuff them up a bit as well as the housing and that that should hopefully make them stick uh, stick better when uh, the clutch actually expands uh, meaning that uh, it should catch better and it should give me a better pull as well so that's what I'm doing now And then the 
the last thing to expect is um, your belt you want to make sure there's no cracks or whatever my belt was fine but it was just kind of old so I wanted to replace it anyways and then I'll just end up using this old belt as kind of a backup if my new belt snaps whenever so I'll just keep it inside of the bike but yeah just look for any you know wear on the belt and whatnot um, and yeah that's pretty much it now we're gonna be putting uh, everything back together but before we do that I just want to clean my casing and whatnot use some compressed air uh, which is the I, in my opinion the best thing to do and whatnot but you can also use some brake cleaner just to get rid of any nasty stuff that was in there so now we're just gonna be putting back everything the same way as we took it off is I would recommend you use your hand to tighten the nuts as much as you can and then if you have a um, uh, wrench uh, or a torque wrench then use it to um, tighten these nuts to the specific spec but here I'm just using my impact driver because that's just the easiest thing to do and I'm just kind of going by feel and whatnot and then once I do that we're pretty much done all we have to do is put the cover back but I'll actually have you guys listen to the end uh, so you guys can see how it runs and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much and I hope this video was helpful